Okay, the indexes are at their yearly lows. The NASDAQ is retesting this June low here, which is the green line. We closed slightly above it this week. The S&P 500 already closed below the June lows, as well as the Dow. Let's take a look at which stocks are holding up the best, showing relative strength, and can provide the best opportunity on the long side if the market does want to find its footing and rally from here. Okay, before we jump into the individual stocks, let's go ahead and quickly take a look at the indexes. Starting with the NASDAQ, we're down here testing these lows from June, which is this green line. We haven't undercut it yet, and we're slightly above it. So it'll be interesting to see if the market wants to find some support here, maybe pull an undercut and rally, or do we just keep going lower? The S&P 500 already broke that level. Again, from June is now making new lows for the year. Same thing with the Dow, we broke that level and now making new lows. Slight positive divergence if you look at the dollar as the indexes were making new lows on Friday, this was not at its high. Also, same thing for the US two year. Again, not at its high as the indexes made lows on Friday. Small positive divergence there, but again, nothing to write home about. Both the dollar and the two-year yield are going to have to come down a lot more if the stock market is going to rally. Okay, let's take a look at Celsius, C-E-L-H. We had this head and shoulders top form on the daily chart. We ended up taking out the neckline here on slightly above average volume. And now we have this bear flag coming right back up to that neckline, which we tested and got rejected at. So if we fail this area again, and we take out the bear flag, I'd expect to see some lower prices. If however, the market wants to rally here, we could see a potential for a double bottom base to form, which we have our nice rally up from here. And then we go on, we make our first low, rally back up to underneath, not a new high, come down, undercut the first low to make it the double bottom. And now we'll be market determined if we rally from there, which would give you a buy point at that 108.37 for the double bottom base. Obviously we need to be flexible and see what's gonna happen. Is the market gonna rally from here or are we gonna just keep rolling over and hitting lower prices? So two scenarios that could play out there on Celsius need to be open and ready for both. Audio Audio okay, double verify holdings. This one has been showing tremendous relative strength as the market's been coming down. This has just been kind of grinding sideways. If you look here, we'll go from this low. Market is down about 14%. If we go to that same time frame here, we'll use the closing prices. Double verify is actually up just under 3%. So I don't see any thing to do with this one yet, but it needs to be on our radar because of the relative strength that it is showing. Moving on to end phase, this is in the solar group, which is the number one industry group right now. We had both of these gap ups that are both holding. We're also testing and flirting with this 282.46 previous all-time high. Uh, we closed slightly below it this week as we make this bear flag right here. So ideally, we'll catch support here and start moving higher. However, if we do take out the bear flag, we could come down and fill one or both of these gaps. So something to watch here on end phase. LPL Financial, another one. I'm not seeing anything to do currently with it. However, the relative strength of this has it on my radar. You can see market's been coming down, and this is sitting right near all-time highs. We're only currently less than 10% off all-time highs while the market is down tremendously. So one to have on your radar just due to its pure relative strength and it has really good fundamentals as well. Okay, moving on. Velocity Holdings, this one has been performing amazing compared to the indexes. We had this nice earnings gap up, huge volume, huge day, and we've consolidated now and we have a nice trend line coming down over the tops. I thought we would maybe make a double bottom base looking something like this. However, this low here in September did not undercut 
the low back here from the beginning of September. So it's not a proper double bottom base there. So we have this trend line coming down. We'll see what this ends up shaping into. Again, the tremendous relative strength um, sitting right on its 50 day moving average now. So this is one to keep an eye on as well. Shockwave Medical, another one that's been holding up and showing great relative strength. We had this huge earnings move. We pushed up and now we're consolidating. We're about five weeks into some sort of base. Um, we don't really have a shape yet. We need to wait and see what it forms. We had this three touch trend line. It attempted to get above it. And then we got pushed down hard under the 50 day undercutting. We've rallied back above all the moving averages, um, but we got denied at this trend line once again. So we'll see what ends up shaping up here. But again, really nice relative strength from Shockwave. Moving on to Tesla. Tesla had what appeared to be a nice flat base forming here, about 15% deep. And now actually, since we undercut this previous low, I see a double bottom here. There, we undercut. Now we just need to see if the market's gonna cooperate and we rally back up now that we've undercut this 265.74. Or do we roll over again for lower prices and keep basing? This middle peak here never quite got above this 314.67, so it is a proper entry point there for a double bottom. This is one to keep an eye on, and again, this has been showing tremendous relative strength while the market is continuing to fall. It's pretty much been going sideways in a nice tight range. Okay, the trade desk, TTD. Another one that had a huge earnings gap up in August, actually moved up. 83% from this low here of 41.91. So really nice move there. And now we are forming what could be a double bottom base here. So we undercut this 59 low here on September 23rd, which makes it proper. And this 67.77 is above the 50% mark of this retracement. So it's a nice shallow, only about 28% deep double bottom base with potential. We also have a nice mini coil here. If you zoom in, we have these last two bars inside of this nice big green bar here. So if we can take out the high of this green bar, also get above the 200 day moving average, that could be a nice spot to take a starter here and see if we can gain some traction. Wolf, this is another one that was holding up tremendously well as the market came down. However, we attempted to push this 123.25 level. We got denied and we slammed down very quick, very hard into the 50 day moving average. We're currently holding that level, but this one seems like it might need a little bit of time to base. So we'll see what happens there. But another one to have on your radar as it's still holding this gap level from its earnings in August. Last one I'm going over today WSC, Will Scott Mobile Mini Holdings. This one has a very nice flat base, which also appears to have the shape of a double bottom within it. So it's only corrected about 11% in this range. And in that same flat base structure, you can see we have a double bottom forming as well. This 3918, we undercut it here. And now we're rallying back up. This middle peak, again, is lower than the left side peak. So it would be a proper double bottom in that um, and that would get you in a little bit earlier than buying a new high which has not been a good strategy in this market lately so there's a couple stocks to keep an eye on due to their relative strength nice setups and if the market wants to cooperate these ones have potential to be really good winning stocks thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video found any of the information useful please consider hitting that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date with all my new videos